Well, good afternoon, Carrie Chapel Freiburg, and welcome to your update on this Friday, the 27th of March. It's, uh, well, I would have said it's good to see you, but unfortunately I can't see you. You can see me. Uh, I hope we trust that you've been keeping well, that the Lord has been uh, looking after you, carrying you, giving you strength uh, at home. Uh, if you're in Freiburg or if you've traveled home somewhere else during this time, uh, in your family, in your flat share fellowship, that uh, the Lord is with you in these days. Today, uh, the update will be a little uh, simpler. I just want to focus today on updates from the church life and church ministry. Um, as many of you know, uh, we're coming up to uh, this Sunday, we'll be the last Sunday before Palm Sunday. And uh, that means that we're getting close to Easter. And uh, many of you will know that Easter is usually a big thing here. We go all out for Easter at Calvary Freiburg. We want to be a, more of an Easter church than a Christmas church. Not that Christmas is unimportant, but we rather go in for the... Uh, resurrection, the death and resurrection of Jesus as the, the center and the foundation of our faith. And uh, as always, we planned a, a Holy Week series and then a Good Friday service and uh, a big baptism on Easter Sunday. Now, uh, unfortunately, uh, all of these services fall within the um, ban on events taking place from our city of Freiburg. So we won't have live services. We won't, ha sorry, we won't have services in person this year. But we do want to celebrate uh, Good Friday and Easter Sunday together as a church. So look out for more information on our website. And we'll be putting together services to celebrate or to firstly to remember the sacrifice of our Lord Jesus Christ on Good Friday. And then uh, secondly, to celebrate his victorious resurrection from the dead on Easter Sunday. But unfortunately, the baptism uh, cannot take place. And we'll be pushing the baptism then forward to the summer baptism, which will happen on Sunday, July the 5th. And we're uh, in the process of uh, putting together our uh, uh, series of devotions for Holy Week, and uh, they'll be running this year under the, the, the motto or under the, the heading, the Beatitudes. We'll be looking at what Jesus says about the kind of people who go into his kingdom in Matthew chapter 5. All right, and uh, just another quick update. Um, solar is also kind of around the corner. Summer's getting here. You can see the spring is already here. The first blossoms are actually already fading. So at the moment, solar will be taking place and we haven't made a final decision on that yet and we'll make a decision as, as we need to. But at the moment, solar is happening and you can find more information on the website, including registration details. And for those uh, leaders of uh, Calvary Chapel Freiburg, we have a leaders retreat coming up in May and we haven't made a final decision on that retreat yet either. So at the moment, um, all, we're letting that retreat go ahead in May. Okay, I really want to emphasize this point, and I updated you about this on Tuesday, but it's really important. Uh, the main way our church is living out fellowship and unity and connection at the moment in this time is through home groups, even though those home groups can't meet in person, they're still meeting online through tools like Skype and Zoom and Meet It. And so I just really want to encourage you, especially small group leaders, if you haven't already, then get in contact with the small group deacons. That's Angie and Tony. You can send them an email at small groups at Cowbridge, at, sorry, small groups at ccfreiburg.de. And uh, just a note there, small group leaders, you can also get in touch to get technical support for how to host your small group online. So be sure to send them a line. And if you don't have a small group yet, and maybe this time of Corona has caught you unawares and you're beginning to realize the importance of Christian fellowship, uh, something that the New Testament talks about often, and you'd like to get into a small group, then again, uh, send an email to smallgroups at ccfreiburg.de and we can connect you up. I want to uh, remind you today's Friday, and if you saw the update last week, our invitation to you was to choose maybe Wednesday or Friday as a day of fasting each week where we simply come before the Lord uh, with our church, with our city, with our world at this time and, and seek his mercy and seek his intervention and, and seek his presence. So I just want to uh, invite you again, if, you're, if you'd like to join us as we fast Wednesdays or Fridays. And again, the invitation is there. Um, you don't have to do it every, every evening, but we will be doing it every evening and therefore the invitation is there to join us at 8.15 p.m. every evening for 15 minutes of prayer for our city and for our world. So the idea being is that you can watch the news uh, at eight o'clock, the news is over, 
at 8.15 and then you can spend 15 minutes in prayer before you go on to other things. And, and yes, we're, everyone's hearing about the uh, coronavirus at the moment, but as we mentioned before, uh, there's also a, a massive uh, locust plague affecting East Africa and Southern Arabia and even Persia, which is threatening famine. There's more famine threatened in Southern Africa. There's war in Yemen and Syria, so there's, and there's persecution, of course, of Christians happening all over the world. So there's plenty for us to be interceding before God for. I just want to encourage you now with um, a, a verse from the, the, the letter, letter to the Ephesians, Ephesians 5, uh, 15 and 16, for this time where we are uh, mostly at home, um, not at work, uh, not meeting, um, not, uh, not involved in social activities. Paul, the Apostle Paul writes in Ephesians 5, 15, be very careful then how you live, not as unwise, but as wise, making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. So I just want to hone in on that phrase, make the most of every opportunity. Obviously, it links up with being wise and careful how we live. Uh, I don't know if you've thought about it this way, but this time, uh, or I encourage you to think about this time uh, where we are forced to stay home, to avoid social contact. I want you to think about it as an opportunity from God. So don't think of it as a time that needs to be somehow filled up and got through and bridged over and, and got behind us as quickly as possible, but rather take this as an opportunity, as a gift uh, from the Lord God. So my encouragement would just be there. Don't, don't fill this time up with too much media, too much news, um, too much time on, on social media, uh, watching too much entertainment, but but accept this as really it, it, it's such an opportunity to invest anew in, in being present with family uh, or with those in your fellowship where you live. Um, it's an opportunity to invest more in prayer, uh, in reading uh, the scriptures. And I've just been encouraged. I mean, there, there has been a lot going on here. Our work hasn't stopped for us as a church, but just the time at home, um, I'm lucky or I'm blessed to live uh, outside Freiburg in a village and just these last two weeks have really been a, a real kickstart to my prayer life. Been able to take walks in the afternoon over the fields, just praying to God for the church, for the city, for the world. It's been great. And, and really investing again in, in Bible. And uh, I, I say this hesitantly. <laughs> Not that you all guys have to um, follow me or I'm the best Bible reader there is. But I think I've read, I'm trying to read 10 chapters of the Bible a day. Um, although I, I, I fell a few uh, days behind. So I think I read about like 150 chapters of the Bible this week. So it's just been awesome. And uh, I want to encourage you with that. Um, just get into the Bible, get into prayer and use this opportunity. Get, spend time with your family, rediscover family worship, family devotions, time with your wife, time with your husband, time with friends in your flat chair. Just enjoy it. And uh, yeah, and give thanks. And as you do that, pray for those who are adversely affected by this time, because we always remember there are those who are suffering at this time. All right. Well, this Sunday, uh, I just want to finish now, update you. The online broadcast of our service will take place at 10 a.m. again. Uh, living room worship, our kind of guide to celebrating worship at home in your living room will be available again. It'll be on the website uh, from around Saturday evening. You can check there. Um, our worship leaders have uh, put together a great set list uh, again for worship uh, this Sunday. And you, if you subscribe to our Spotify account, you'll find it there. It's a playlist. You can subscribe to the playlist. It will be updated week by week and then you'll get the songs for each Sunday. Uh, this Sunday we'll have something for the kids as well. And uh, you'll find all of that in the guide on the website and then uh, available on YouTube on Sunday morning. So we're really looking forward to celebrating service with you this Sunday. And just again, a reminder, Church at 5, the online broadcast will be happening on Sunday evening at 5 p.m. So tune into that. All right, guys, that's all for today. I want to close with a prayer. And uh, so I ask you to join me in prayer as we finish. This is a prayer, an ancient prayer, but I hope it uh, encourages your heart. Lord, we ask that we be set on fire with your spirit strengthened by your power, illuminated by your glory, filled with your grace, so that we can go forward in this life by your help. Give us, Lord, a right faith, perfect love, true humility. Grant, Lord, that there may be in us a simple affection, that we might have brave patience, persevering obedience, perpetual peace, 
a pure mind, a right and honest heart, a good will, a holy conscience, conscience, spiritual strength, and a life unspotted and unblameable. And Lord, we pray that having then strongly finished the course, we may be enabled happily to enter into your kingdom. And we pray this through the grace and strength of Jesus Christ, our Lord, and amen. Amen, guys. We'll see you Sunday, and I'll see you for another update next week. Be blessed.